Hi, I'm Rob Barnes from AWS Professional Services. Customers who use Active Directory in AWS often require the use of multi-factor authentication, or MFA. MFA helps secure authentication by requiring a one-time passcode along with a user ID and password. MFA can be used with Active Directory to authenticate to AWS productivity services like Workspaces, WorkDocs, Client VPN, or AWS SSO, single sign-on. In this video, I'll walk through setting up MFA with an existing AWS directory using the Duo service as the MFA provider. The directory can be either managed AD or AD connector using your on-premises AD implementation over VPN. The directory service must be configured to use private subnets in a VPC that has access to the internet, either through a NAT gateway or through your VPN. First, let's take a look at a Workspace's authentication experience looks like without MFA. With Workspaces, there's a client that you launch, and when you load it, you're presented with a login screen, your user ID and password. And here I can authenticate with my AD credentials. Note that there's no MFA code option here. At the end of this demo, we'll see that after I set up my Radius servers, I'll have the ability to enter in an MFA code here. To get started, you'll need a Duo account. If you don't already have one, you can create one free for up to 10 users. You'll have to create a user in Duo for each AD user you want to support. Users will be identified by their email address, so be sure that your AD user email addresses match what's in Duo and that each Duo user is configured with the phone number. This phone number will be used for a notification on their smartphones on the Duo mobile app. All right, let's begin. First, you'll need to log into your AWS account where your directory service resides. I've already done that. In my case, I'm using Managed AD. The Duo MFA on AWS Quick Start is implemented as a CloudFormation template. To launch it, you can go to aws.amazon.com slash quickstart slash architecture slash duo dash MFA. Scroll down, click on the How to Deploy tab, and then click on Launch the Quick Start. If you're not already logged into your AWS account, you'll be prompted to do so. Make sure you're in the same region where your directory service is configured. In my case, I'm in Northern Virginia. And then click Next. For the Duo account settings values, You'll have to go to Duo to retrieve those. I've already logged in to Duo. So what I'm gonna do now is create a new application. Click on Protect an Application, and I'll select AWS Directory Service. Click on the Protect button. And these are the three values that I need to copy over to CloudFormation. I'll copy over the integration key paste it in the appropriate text box, get the secret key. Now the secret key is essentially a password. So I'm gonna copy it here, but at the end of this demo, I'm gonna reset the secret key. I'm just using this now just for the purposes of this demonstration. And then for the Duo host name, copy that. And that's all I need from Duo. However, I do want to save it. So I'll come down here and save this application. That's it. Now, in, back to CloudFormation, in the Radius proxy configuration settings, really the only thing I'm going to need is my directory service ID. I can find that in the directory service console. I've already logged in. I'm in Northern Virginia. And this is my Microsoft AD directory. So I'm going to copy that value. Pop it in the box here. And if I like, I can leave the rest of the values default. The Amazon Linux image ID simply pulls the latest Amazon Linux image for creating the EC2 instances for the Radius servers. The number of Radius servers that I'll create is two. That's all I'll need for this. If my, uh, if my demand required it, I could choose three or four. Two, two uh, tends to be sufficient and I'll use the default radius port number of 1812. 
I have the option of setting the duo fail uh, mode from safe to secure. Safe means that if for some reason the radio service can't reach the duo service, then the uh, ID and password authentication will suffice. If I change this to secure mode, if the radio service can't reach the duo service, then authentication will fail. Click on next, click on next. Acknowledge that the stack will create an IAM role. And off I go. All right. The stack will take about 10 minutes to complete. While it's launching, let's take a look at the architecture. Back at the do a website, go back to what you'll build. There's the diagram there. The solution builds an auto scaled, load balanced, fault tolerant set of radius servers. By default, the solution will create two EC2 instances in the same subnets where your directory service network interfaces reside. The solution uses AWS Systems Manager to install and to configure the Duo Auth Proxy service on the EC2 instances that will allow them to interact with the Duo service. The RADIUS protocol relies on a secret value that is shared between the directory and the Auth Proxy service. The secret value is automatically generated and managed by AWS Secrets Manager and is encrypted using the AWS Key Management Service. This password is automatically rotated daily by Secrets Manager and the auth proxy service on the EC2 instances is automatically updated with the secret value. There's no maintenance whatsoever on your part. Once the designated number of radius servers is fully configured and ready to go, a Lambda function will configure your directory service to use these radius servers. If you need to increase or decrease the, no the number of radius servers after this implementation, simply update the existing CloudFormation stack and choose the number of instances that's right for you. We'll give the CloudFormation stack a few more minutes to complete, then we'll come back to validate it. All right, so I've waited a few minutes, and now let's see if the CloudFormation stack completion is done. CloudFormation console. And sure enough, the stack was completed successfully, so all of the resources have been provisioned. So now let's see if the directory service is configured correctly. Go back to the directory service console. I select my directory. I select the networking and security tab. Go all the way to the bottom to the multi-factor authentication section. And sure enough, it says completed. Now, if you haven't refreshed this page since the CloudFormation stack completion, I would have refreshed this section here. So, CloudFormation template, uh, our stack was completed successfully. My directory service shows that it is configured successfully. Now let's test it by going back to Workspaces. So I'm gonna launch the Workspaces client. And now I have an MFA code text box here, whereas before I just had an ID and password box. So let's test this. So these are my Active Directory credentials. Now for my MFA code, there are a couple of ways that I can go about this. Number one, I can use the Duo Mobile app, launch that, get the code on there, and then type that code in here. Or alternatively, I can simply type in the word push and enter, and then I'll get a push notification on my phone, and I just got it. So I'll hit approve on my phone. And sure enough, my AD credentials were authenticated. My MFA code or, or that my MFA request was approved. And now my workspace is launching here in a moment. And there we go. So now I've successfully authenticated using my AD credentials and using MFA um, using Duo. Now the Duo MFA can also be used for other directory integrated services like client VPN and AWS single sign-on. This has been Rob Barnes from AWS Professional Services. Thanks for watching.